Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today, September 15th, 2023. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Seattle's Archbishop is backtracking on his request that all his pastors resign. After blowback from clergy, Archbishop Paul Achen sent an email Tuesday informing pastors the Archdiocese would talk to them individually regarding new assignments as plans unfold to merge parishes. He wrote, this will allow the conversation about new assignments to be specific and concrete, removing any questions about what is being asked of you. One of the nation's premier Catholic universities is hosting a drag show. The University of Notre Dame is scheduled to host a live drag performance on November 3rd as part of a fall class titled, What a Drag, Drag on Screen, Variations and Meanings. The course instructor, Professor Pam Wojcik, hopes to quote, give students knowledge about an art form that has been misdescribed. California's leftist governor says parents are being fed misinformation about trans kids. Governor Gavin Newsom, a self-identified Catholic, sidestepped a question regarding parents being informed about their child's so-called gender identity and blamed conservatives for fear-mongering. I met with the parents and they were told all these, I, I said, I totally understand why you were out there. If I were told those things, I would have been out there too. So again, back to grace and humility, people are being ginned up. And so I, I'm not here to criticize them, but there's a lot of misunderstanding, misrepresentation out there because people are weaponizing these grievances against vulnerable communities. Pro-life groups in the Wolverine state are pushing back against the governor's radical abortion law. The Michigan Coalition to Protect a Woman's Right to Know is calling on state leaders to reject Gretchen Whitmer's measure, which removes protections for infants born alive, scraps humane disposal of aborted babies, and forces taxpayers to fund abortions. Right to Life of Michigan is also calling on voters to contact state senators and representatives and make their opposition known. And a federal agency is expanding its partnership with faith-based organizations. USAID Administrator Samantha Power announced a new policy for religious engagement, touting it as a way to increase, quote, humanitarian assistance around the world. The agency already works closely with Catholic Relief Services and other Catholic charities, which receive hundreds of millions of dollars of federal money for their work with illegal immigrants. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about reporters challenging corrupt bishops. God bless you.